What if you could build a viral movie character factory that runs entirely on autopilot? Today, I'm showing you exactly how I automated high-end content creation using WaveSpeed AI and N8N by leveraging the power of Nano Banana Pro for visuals and VO 3.1 for cinematic motion, I've built a hands-off workflow that does the work for you. Let's dive into the setup. I'm going to walk you through my entire workflow for creating funny shorts featuring famous movie characters, but here's the kicker. I'm doing all of this through WaveSpeed AI, which is hands down the most underrated platform for professional AI content creation right now. Why? Because it gives you access to multiple state-of-the-art models. Nano Banana Pro, VO 3.1, Seedream 4.5, and more. All in one place, with one API key. No more juggling accounts. No more switching platforms. Everything lives here. And before we get into the workflow, quick shout out. If you want to try this yourself, I've got a referral link in the description. You'll get $1 in credits instantly to start generating your own images and videos. Trust me you'll want to test this out. All right, let's get into it. First of all, we will create an API key. To do that, come to the dashboard of WaveSpeed and then select the API key option. Once you are on this page, you just have to set the name of the key and then copy the API key and save it in a secure place as our API key is ready. Now let's break down the workflow step by step. Step one, trigger the workflow. First, we need a trigger. In N8N, triggers are what kick off the entire automation. I am using a chat trigger, where I will enter the video idea. Once you add a chat trigger, make sure you turn on this Always Output Data option. Let's test this node. I am clicking on the Test Chat button from here. You will notice a little chat option here. You just have to enter your video idea. OK, our trigger is ready. Now we need to add a workflow configuration node. Here we will do all the mapping. Don't worry, you don't have to do anything. I already added all the necessary data. Step 2. Generate the content idea with an AI agent. Once the trigger fires, the first thing that happens is an AI agent generates a content idea. This is where I'm using ChatGPT through the OpenAI API. I've set up a custom prompt that tells the AI to create a funny short story and script with the given idea. The prompt is structured to output specific information. The caption, the idea, the environment, the sound description, and the status. The AI agent in N8N is powerful because it can use tools, like the Think tool. In the end, we need to add a structured output parser. Here, we will set the output format. I already added all the information. As for you, you will find the ready-to-use workflow in the description. You just have to enter your API key. How you set the API key, I am just going to show you. Double-click on the OpenAI Chat Models form here. Now we have to add the credentials. Just create a new credential, add all the information like the API key from your OpenAI API page. After that, set all other settings and then hit the Save button. OK, we are done. Now, let's execute the AI agent. And you can see that it's working perfectly. OK, we've got the story and script. Now we will generate the detailed scene prompt. Step 3. Generate detailed scene prompts. Now that we have the basic idea, we need to turn it into detailed image generation prompts. So I've added a second AI agent that takes the output from the first agent and generates three specific video prompts. Here, you will find a two scene prompts generator agent. The first one is to generate prompts for generating the scene images. It will break the script into scenes and then create detailed image generation prompts for Nano Banana Pro. However, you can also use other AI image generation models because you can access almost all the popular AI image and video generators with a single API key on WaveSpeed AI. Okay, now let's have a look at the second prompt generator nodes. This one is to generate very detailed prompts for the Google VO 3.1 video generator. I will take data from the story and image generation scene prompt and then generate detailed prompts for every scene in JSON format so that we can get the best and consistent results. Like the previous one, we have to set the credentials to add our own OpenAI API key. Once you set the API keys, let's check these two AI agents. First, I will run the image prompts node. And here it is. You can see that it actually generates very detailed prompts for image generation. Now, let's generate the video generation prompt. Okay, here we are. I found the prompts. Step four, process the prompts with code. Before we send these prompts to the image generator, we need to format them properly. 
that's where a code node comes in. This is just a simple JavaScript function that takes the AI-generated prompts and structures them in the exact format that the API expects. This step is important because APIs are picky. They need data in a specific format, and the code node ensures everything is clean and ready to go. We need to add this for both the image and video generator prompts. Step 5. Generate images with Nano Banana Pro. Now we get to the fun part. I'm using an HTTP request node to call the WaveSpeed AI API and generate images with Nano Banana Pro. Here's where WaveSpeed AI really shines. I go to the Nano Banana Pro model page on WaveSpeed AI, click on the API tab, and copy the API endpoint. Then I paste it into my N8N workflow. For authentication, I use my WaveSpeed AI API key, which I generate from the dashboard, and add it as a header in the HTTP request. Then I send the prompts, and boom! Nano Banana Pro generates high-quality images in seconds. We're talking 5 to 10 seconds per image. It's insanely fast. Step 6. Wait for processing. After the images are generated, I add a wait node because the API needs a little time to process everything. I usually set this to about 30 seconds to a minute, depending on the model. Step 7. Retrieve the generated images. Once the wait is over, I use another HTTP request node to retrieve the generated images. I grab the image URLs from the previous step and pull down the final assets. All the images are ready. These are the image URLs. And this is the result image for every scene. It generates three first frame images, and they look really nice. I like them. Step 8. Generate videos with VO 3.1. Now that I have the images, it's time to turn them into videos. I use the same process, HTTP request node calling the WaveSpeed AI API. But this time I'm using VO 3.1 for image to video generation. Okay now, as for the text prompt, we will take it from the video generator prompts. That's why I connected with the format video prompt nodes that eventually format the video generation prompts. Again, I add a wait node, this time for about 3 minutes, because video generation takes a bit longer than images. Here we have the video URLs. You can just copy any video URL and download the video clips. This is our first video clip. Good morning, citizen. Would you like a bouquet of justice? Are these organic? This is the second they one. And this is the third one. All of them are just amazing. Step nine, stitch everything together. Once I have all the video clips and audio, I use FFMPEG to stitch everything together. FFMPEG is a powerful command line tool for video processing, and it's perfect for automation. First, we will use the node Combine All Assets nodes. After that, I use some other nodes and two HTTP request nodes to call an FFMPEG API and retrieve the final video. They will send all the video clips and audio files, and it will combine them into one final video with transitions and sound, and here it is, the video is ready. Good morning, citizen. Would you like a bouquet of justice? Are these organic? They were grown in the Fortress of Solitude's greenhouse. Maximum sunlight. And it looks very beautiful. So, now you can create this kind of video using this workflow with WaveSpeed API. Okay, so now that you've seen the workflow, let me explain why WaveSpeed AI is the perfect platform for this kind of automation. Reason 1. One API key for everything. This is huge. When you're building automation workflows, the last thing you want is to manage a dozen different API keys, each with its own rate limits, billing, and documentation. With WaveSpeed AI, I have one API key that gives me access to Nano Banana Pro, VO 3.1, Seedream, and a bunch of other models. That means my N8N workflow is cleaner, easier to maintain, and way less likely to break. Reason 2. Speed and stability. When you're generating content at scale, speed matters, and WaveSpeed AI is fast. Nano Banana Pro generates images in seconds. VO 3.1 processes videos quickly. There's no lag, no downtime. Reason 3. Access to the latest models. WaveSpeed AI is constantly adding new models, like as soon as something drops, whether it's an open source model or a new frontier model, it's integrated into the platform. All right, that's it. That's how I'm using WaveSpeed AI and N8N to automate viral AI content. If you want to try this yourself, the link is in the description.
you'll get $1 in credits to start experimenting with Nano Banana Pro, VO 3.1, and all the other models on the platform. And honestly, whether you're a developer building AI tools or a creator looking to scale your content, WaveSpeed AI is worth checking out. It's fast, it's stable, and it brings everything you need into one place. If you found this helpful, drop a like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments what kind of content you'd automate with this workflow. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.